Hi guys, Mr. Zigner. Thanks for joining me for lesson 5-7, Dividing Fractions and Mixed Numbers. Alright, you can see we're going to divide by fractions, we're going to divide by mixed numbers, and we'll finish up by looking at a real-world example. Okay, to start things off, here's how we're going to divide by a fraction. We're going to multiply, actually, by the multiplicative inverse, or reciprocal. So in the case of 7 eighths, this problem right here, divided by 3 fourths, we're going to turn that into 7 eighths times 4 thirds. Do you see what changed? Well, it wasn't the first fraction. The first fraction, the first number stays the same. That stays at 7 eighths. Division, however, becomes multiplication, and 3 fourths becomes 4 thirds. That's where up here it says multiply by the multiplicative inverse. So we're multiplying by the multiplicative inverse of 3 fourths. All right, let's continue. So our first problem is 6 sevenths divided by 2 fifths. All righty. Well, we're going to keep that first fraction the same. The division sign becomes multiplying, and the 2 fifths becomes 5 halves. A lot of people call this keep, change, flip. Looks a little bit like the letters for Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, but it's KCF. So keep, change, flip, KCF. We keep that first fraction, we change the sign to multiplication, and we flip that second fraction. Flipping it, of course, is actually called the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal, but of course it's easier to say flip than multiplicative inverse, so I'm okay with that. All right, let's go ahead and solve this. One thing I'm noticing, however, is diagonally, 6 and 2, we can divide both of those numbers by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and that just makes easier numbers for us to multiply. 3 times 5 is 15, 7 times 1 is 7. Problem is, that answer isn't over here as a choice, so we need to turn this back into a mixed number. Well, that means I have to do 15 divided by 7. 15 sevenths means 15 divided by 7. All right, well, 7 goes into 15 two times. That's 14. Now we subtract and get 1, so our remainder is 1. So that means 15 sevenths equals 2 and 1 7. All right, and there it is. Super. Let's move on. Our next problem, 3 eighths divided by 2 and a half. So that's 3 eighths divided by 2 and 1 half. Let's use that keep change flip again. So we're going to keep this first fraction times, oh, you know what? This is a mixed number. So we need to make this improper first. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So really, 2 and a half is 5 halves. All right, so really this problem is 3 eighths divided by 5 halves. All right, now we can do our keep, change, flip. So I guess it's important to first change that mixed number into an improper fraction before we do our keep change flip. Before. All right, so we have our 3 eighths. We kept that the same. Division becomes times. And now 5 halves, we're going to flip that to its reciprocal. So that's 2 fifths. All righty. Oh, looking diagonally, 8 and 2 both can be divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now if we multiply across our numerators, 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 5 is 20. 3 twentieths. Yes, there's our answer. Now we have our word problem. A rectangular table is 5 and 5 sixths feet long. The area of that table is 20 and 5 twelfths. How wide is the table? So there's the thing we have to figure out. Well, area is uh, 
length times width, but they gave us the area and the length. So it looks like we need to divide to figure this out. So instead of length times width equals area, we're going to do area divided by length to get our width. Now here we go. So 20 and 5 twelfths divided by 5 and 5 sixths. All right. As I said in the previous slide, it looks like we need to turn these into mixed numbers before we work with them. So let's see, 20 times 12, well that's the same thing as 2 times 12 plus an extra 0, so that's 240. So 20 times 12 is 240, plus the extra 5, that makes 245 over the original denominator of 12. We're dividing that by 6 times 5 is 30. We're going to turn that into a mixed number. And 30 plus 5 is 35. So 35 over 6. All right, now we can do our keep, change, flip. So we keep this first fraction the same, 245 over 12. Instead of division, multiplying. And instead of 35 over 6, now it's 6 over 35. All righty. I'm looking diagonally, and both 12 and 6 can be divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 6 divided by 6 is 1. And now the other way, looks like I can divide, like I can divide both of these by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 245 divided by 5, do you know what it is? Turns out it's 49. All right, now it looks like we're ready to multiply. Oh, but wait a minute. Look at that. This diagonal still can be divided down by another common factor. I can divide 7 and 49, each of those by 7. 49 divided by 7 is 7, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. All right, now we have even easier numbers to multiply. So let's see here. We have 7 times 1 is 7 on top and 2 times 1 on the bottom is 2. So we have 7 halves. But once again, that does not match any of our answers over here, so we need to turn this back into a mixed number. So we have 7 halves. That means 7 divided by 2. 2 goes into 7. Well, that's 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. And 7 minus 6 is 1. So that means it's 3 and 1 half. So that's and one half. There we go. So the width of that table must be three and a half feet. Oh, and there we are at the end already. All right, well, thank you for joining me for Dividing Fractions and Mixed Numbers, Lesson 5-7 in our book. And my students, if you would please do your questions below this video on my website, that'd be great. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me as we work our way through the 7th grade Math Connects textbook. Feel free to email me with any questions. My website is www.mattzigner.com. On my site, you'll find links to my math blog, some of my favorite educational sites, and lots of helpful information for students, parents, and teachers. See you next time.